couple of weeks ago, I posted some tofu on Instagram. Simple, basic, nuchi tofu, which is how I absolutely love it. Some people were super excited and other people were of the opinion that tofu is gross and that there is no good tofu. And I totally disagree. But I think what people need to know is how to cook tofu and what are the different types of tofu. So let's start with types. A couple of types of tofu that I don't have examples of here, but I will put a little picture down below, are tofu in an aseptic container. That is usually a very silken soft tofu. I just don't cook with it a lot, but it's good for things like making your own mayonnaise or making a like chocolate silk pie, that type of thing. The other type of tofu that is very popular and I love it is extra super firm tofu. And that I don't buy that often because I don't go to the stores that sell it. Trader Joe's sells it. I just don't get there that often. And then there is a brand called Wildwood that is also really great and organic and extra super firm. And that's the one that I usually buy when I'm at a store that has it. But the tofu that I buy most often is a local brand and it's called Ota. And it comes in a container like this and it's packed in water. And you will see tofu like this at grocery stores everywhere. It's basic, it's you know readily available, and it comes in different, um, different types. So this tofu is extra firm tofu. All right, you can see the package here. This, also Ota, is firm tofu. Now you can kind of see the difference, right? The tofu amount is about the same. The difference is the amount of water that is in the package, but also the amount of water that is in the tofu. Extra firm tofu has less water in the tofu. Firm tofu has a little bit more. It's gonna be a little bit more crumbly. And then there is also soft tofu. And this has a lot more water in it as well. And this one will pretty much fall apart when you take it out of the package. It is also great for things like homemade mayonnaise or making creamy desserts. So these are the basic kinds that I use most frequently. And if you want to have a tofu steak type of thing, I would recommend going extra firm. So you're going to have less water in the firm, extra firm, a little bit more water in the firm, and then lots of water in your soft tofu. So I do love Ota tofu because it's local to Portland, which is super cool to me. They're the oldest tofu maker in America, and they're right on Stark Street, down the street from our store. I can buy this at H Mart, which is a locally owned international grocery store. I can buy it directly from Ota if I want, and it's available in tons of stores all over Portland. And the amazing thing is this is $2 for this fresh, delicious tofu. So what kind of tofu do you wanna use for each type of preparation? I would say most often you're gonna use your extra firm or your firm tofu for most everything. Tofu scramble, tofu sandwiches, use this extra firm or even the firm in our beet burger recipe. When you're gonna make like a tofu chickpea or tofu chicken salad, that type of thing, you're gonna go for a tofu that's a little bit more solid, a little bit more firm with less water. And then you're gonna use your silken tofu for dressings and desserts, that type of thing. Okay, so now that you know what type of tofu you wanna go get, go to the store, get yourself some firm or extra firm tofu, and come back and we'll make our basic nuchi tofu, and you will love it, I promise.